This is a simple circuit using the little bit synthesizer kit. We have a noise source, which is a random bit in noise mode. We have a filter, and we have an oscillator, which is controlling the cutoff frequency of the filter. We've set the, uh, the oscillator has two positions, square wave out, which has two values. And the alternative is sawtooth out, which goes up fast and comes down slowly. So this provides an interesting wind style effect. And if we turn up the filter resonance, we can make it howl a bit more even sometimes. Now, unfortunately, the oscillator doesn't have a ramp up, so we can't do the, that version. So what we can do is we can use the Arduino bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Arduino bit to do some analog signal processing. So here we have the Arduino bit and here is the default minimal Arduino program the analog input A0 and the D5 output which has been switched to analog mode currently because there's no program reloaded into here it's sort of idling at some random value so what I can do is I can add some simple code to this basic program so we can have the input copy to the output. So having added uh, some code, I'm now going to compile and upload that to the Arduino bit, and we will see what happens. So one thing we notice here is that the output seems to be going a lot faster than the input. And the reason for this is that the input is 10 bits wide and the output is only 8 bits wide. This is equivalent to counting to f from 1 to 400 and looking at any of the last two digits you'll hit 99 four times. And that's what we're seeing here. So one sweep of the input we get the output going four times. So we need to divide the input value by four so that one sweep on the input equals one sweep on the output. So now we've done the uh, divide by four and we see now that the output eight bits is using the top eight bits of the 10 bit input value and they're now in step. So what we want to do is you will now convert the, the output into a rising ramp. So instead of going from 0 to 255, we want to go from 255 to 0. So we can do that with a simple change to our assignment statement. Now 
just while it's uploading the output will, will drift a bit. So now we've managed to achieve a upward sweep into the filter from a downward sweep input to doing an analog conversion. So the way the Arduino programming environment works is that the setup function is called once. The setup function here is called once and we don't currently have to do anything special in that. And then the loop is function is called repeatedly. So the loop is called, it runs its code, it exits. Comes back, it's called again, runs its code and exits. And does this thousands and thousands of times per second. So now we have the sweep going up. What we can do is we can make some adjustments and try to make this even more interesting. Here I've added a, a second dim, a dimmer, and the idea of this dimmer is it's going to be read by the analog one input. I'm going to use that number to control this output here. So we want what we I want to do is that when the input here is at five volts, which will give us a thousand twenty-four three thousand twenty-three, I want this to be going up like this, or down like that, the other opposite, and once it's down to zero, it does the opposite. And in between, I want it so that it, goes, it doesn't do anything. So I can then use this control as both a magnitude of sweep and a polarity of sweep. So that, this is read in the analog of one value, and it goes from 0 to 1023, roughly. So currently, if we'll use this cut line, this statement, So when A1 is less than or equal to 512, which is the else of this test, we'll do what we currently do. And we'll remove this uh, upside, oops, this code that does the upside down piece. So when the analog input is above 512 it should go one way and when it's below 512 it should go the other way so by turning the knob up to one end I can make it go down and by turning it to the other end I can make it go up so we added this other input on analog 1 and the input goes from 0 to 5 which gives us numbers 0 to 1023 on the analog input 1 and we are currently using whether it's above or below 512 to decide which way the output signal goes whether it goes ramping down or ramping up so the next quick simple mod is to basically make it so that the further it is from the middle position the more output signal you get, and as you turn it to the middle position, around 512, you'll reduce the amount of, amount of output. That way we can control how much we ramp as well as which direction. So what we basically want to do is we want to basically multiply the A dot out value by the difference between the current value of the analog 1 input and 512. So now we want to do is we want to use the val the difference between the analog one and 512 
to decide whether we're going to go um, how much we want to ramp up or down. So what we can do here is when A1 is greater than 512, then if A1 minus 512 will go this value will be if go from 0 to 512. So at this point A1 now goes from 0 to 512 as the input goes from 512 to 1023 roughly. So the output val value we want to make it equal to the output value it used to was going to be multiplied by A1. Now A1 goes from 0 to 2 0 to 512 roughly, which is 9 bits. But the uh, value we want to do is only 8 bits. So if we, as we remember earlier, we had to divide by 4 to get 10 down to 8. So divide by 2, get 9 down to 8. Now, if we take an 8-bit number and multiply it by another 8-bit number, we get a 16-bit number. So what we're going to have to do is take the new value and divide that by 256. Get back down to get it back down to an 8-bit number. 256 is 8 bits, basically. We want to do a similar thing here, but now, now what we're going to do is when the input is about 512. Um, So when the input is 512, we have A1 now be 0, and as it goes down to A1 goes down to the input goes down to 0, the value will now go rise up to 512. So we can do the same multiply effect here. So the difference basically between these two is that here, as as this value is goes from 0 to 512, this value goes from 512 back down to 0, and this value here goes from 512 to 1023, this value goes from 0 to 51023, sorry 512. Let's see how that goes. Now the idea about doing this like this is that sometimes you make mistakes in your algorithms and you have to debug it, so we'll see how it goes, but I think I've got it right. So when I have the dimmer at maximum, it's certainly in sync with the input. If we turn it back to the middle-ish, you can see basically that it's stopped outputting. And as I turn it negative, we'll see what happens. The more negative it, more to zero it goes. It's now ramping up, so we now have the effect we were looking for. So at, when the input's at zero, we get maximum up ramp. Because in the middle, we get no effect whatsoever. And as we go up towards the positive end, we now get the descending ramp. Now one thing I like to do here is uh, show something I noticed. So what I'm going to actually do is switch these two, the inputs, around. Uh, around. And you get something that you weren't quite expecting sometimes. As you can see it's going up and then down again. Which is much more fun. That's because the ramp input here is now controlling the the uh, multiplier, and when it's in the middle, the multiplier is zero. When it's at one end, it's basically plus one. When it's at the other end, it's minus one, and we're feeding a constant input of half, basically. 
So that's why it goes and he it goes up to half and comes back down again, back up to half and back down again. Now if we turn this to one end or the other end, we get slight different effects. So we get half a sweep, or we'll sweep half the time, and then nothing. But in the middle, we get this up and down motion. Very pleasing. So I switch these back over again. and the magnitude. This is providing the basic signal. 